Hey guys, I'm Billy. And I'm Don. And you're watching Nerd Review. <laughs> To be reviewing the Power Rangers Dino Charge Mega Sword. That's right. Um, so it shows that you can click on this uh, Tyrannosaurus uh, Charger. Oh, that's actually cool. I didn't notice that. Um, the Dino Charger from the Megazord is clear mm -hmm. as opposed to it being a solid gray from the uh, Morpher. This. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. I didn't notice that before. Uh, so the back of the box shows you the different battle modes that you can do. Um, it also shows you the different battle modes with the corresponding battery, which they did not provide. So, yeah. Uh, as far as boxing goes, it's a typical Megazord box. It looks good. Yeah. All right. I'm ready to open this up. All right. So uh, check out these pictures of the close-ups of the box and we'll have it opened up for you. Alright guys, here it is. Dino Charge Megazord. So when you first take it out of the box, uh, you have to put the feet on and you have to put the back of the Triceratops on. Um, and it's what they've been doing with the uh, Zords from Mega Force and Super Mega Force, and now Dino Charge is called Zord Builder, which is where they have different pegs and different kind of uh, uh, slots and things for you to be able to put more and more Zords on. It actually is even compatible with uh, some of the Legacy Zords too, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah, the uh, all the dinosaurs are in. Uh, their battle action mode, which includes Gabatera. So, I didn't know that when I first um, put him together, but after watching the show, I do. So, his extra horns are up. Um, <clears throat> so, that's pretty cool. Uh, packaging, real sturdy. Uh, it was a little difficult to get it out, out of the box. You had to, I had to take this arm off completely, which includes the tail of Gabatera, or... Tyrannosaurus. I don't know if he has a name in Dino Charge. Um, I don't know. But yeah. So, and it had a, a plastic, or not plastic, one of those rubber strips that I had to cut around his waist. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and build Zords. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, you just pop off. Like I said, Zord Builder has different links and uh, whatnot on it. So, uh, blue and pink. Real easy to do. For the blue, you just have to take this out of his hand, which is his sword. You don't take that off. Yeah, this can be on or off for hand or drill mode. Yeah. And uh, you just push it down. Cl yep. Close mouth. And back legs first. Then front legs. And for um, the Stega. You can just snap that on like that. And there you have a Stegazord and then Triceratozord. And then um, they didn't come with the uh, pink or blue batteries. batteries, but we'll just take these and put them in. And they do something special. They don't make noise like mm -hmm. they do in the Japanese version. But with the pink, your drill extends. And with the blue, his uh, spike extends. For battle mode, okay? My bad. So, something that I mentioned in our uh, Morpher review is that it was, um, you had to press those two buttons to get it out. And I didn't like that because it seemed like it would just, you know, be really complicated. You have to use, you have to like hold the gun and press the buttons and tip it and try and catch it at the same time. When it comes to these Zords, you just push the little uh, slide on the bottom and you can grab the battery. Real simple. And then, um, uh, one quick thing is I wish you could close the mouth of the dinosaur with the battery in it like it does in the show, but you cannot. 
But still, it's cool. It is cool. It is cool. Also, the uh, Japanese version, the uh, the horns, horns flip back. Right. Or and just don't. Well, see, what they did in, in the American version was they gave you horns back here already. You just can't really tell unless you paint them. Also, uh, this comes off. And I, like, there's no real reason. I don't think it does that in the show. Uh, I don't know. But it's pretty cool either way. If you don't have uh, the batteries for any of them, you can still use these slides and it'll work. Yeah, but any of them work. They're all the same. Right. That's what, but I mean, like, if you don't, if you lost your batteries, you know, yeah. you just use the slide and it'll work. Oh, my bad. All right. Gabatera is so cool. Gabatera is, cool. is the coolest tra Tyrannosaurus Rex. Not including the Quantosaurus Rex that we've had, in my opinion. I I think he's so cool. Even better than Mighty Morphin. Much better than Dino Thunder. Uh, because I'm so tired of drill arms. Arms that, not like this. This is cool because it also has a hand. You could still put the, the sword and stuff in her hand. That's really cool. But... When it's just a drill, like in Dino Thunder, it, it loses functionality. I, I wouldn't want that if it were me, you know, but I'm not a robot, so whatever. All right, uh, first thing you do is take off this lightning bolt looking thing, okay? Set that aside for later. Turn these normal way. Take his helmet off. Set that aside. And go ahead and push his head down. And it just is on uh, a little peg on both sides, so you can just push it. See that? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's not hard. Uh, the helmet stays on just like the Zord Builder things do with a little clip and slot made for it. Um, if they come out with a Pterodon Zord, they'll have the helmet for Pterodon. Uh, um, I can't remember the name that they had for this, but Megazord combined. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so then uh, the the legs are actually two different pieces. There's the outside of the leg, and then there's the inside of the leg. And the inside of the leg, uh, when you first get it out of the box, the feet are disconnected to fit in the box. You can just snap them on, right? The inside of the leg doesn't have actual pegs. It has a little kind of nub-like thing that fits into um, the feet into like just a little circular thing and it's not hard to get it in and out okay so spread the legs just because it makes it easier there's a little slot in here where you turn the helmet upside down and it goes in like that and you just bring the legs together and you clamp it with the Zord Builder pieces you kind of have to wiggle the helmet in, but you clamp it together with the Zord Builder pieces, and then unpeg the feet from the or from the back of the legs. Turn the upper body sideways, and then he comes together like so. And you can go ahead and flip up his little arms, his little T-Rex arms, where he can't reach anything with. <laughs> And then you take the lightning bolts, fold it in half, and there's um, a top little piece for it right here that has, I don't know if that's going to be able to see or not, but um, it's kind of like a T model. Here it comes up like this and then out, and you'll have to slide it in like that. And it just kind of clamps in inside there so that it doesn't come out. And the uh, um, little circle pegs don't clip into the tail or the, the yellow part of the tail, but you can see clear divots where they um, fit, you know. Uh, so they don't clamp in, but they do go there. And then for his battleizer mode, um, in the Japanese version, all these spikes were down, right? I uh, can't remember. All right, well, either way. You just open his mouth, insert, breathe in, 
insert the battery and clamp it. And that's all he does. It's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> he goes from having two pegs to five. Two? Or, excuse me, three pegs to five. I think it looks cool, though. Yeah. Uh, he, he does look cool. And, man, like, he's the coolest Tyrannosaurus Rex that we've had. Uh, just because he does so much stuff. Like, the, I, I like complexity when it comes to changing. Like, I love the old Transformer toys, not the, like, flip and change that they have now. It seems like it takes a lot out of the toy. But he's, you, you gotta, like, get involved in order to change him. So that's why I think he's the coolest Tyrannosaurus that we've had. He is pretty awesome. Alright, um, let's go ahead and do an actual review. Good and bad. Um, we don't own the Japanese toys for Dino Charge. But from what I've heard, the Megazord is actually too big. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, so, and this is perfect size. Um, obviously, these are just arms, whereas uh, Gabatura is the almost entirety minus the arms, so he's going to be bigger. But he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and look at the size comparison. If you think about it, I mean, like, that's kind of realistic yeah. when it comes to size comparison. Um, uh, Alright, so let's go with more good things, right? Um, I, I just think it's really cool. It's real easy to uh, do everything. Uh, the heads um, stay where they are. Like, they're firmly snapped in, and, it, and they won't just, like, fall open. Um, but that's really cool. Uh, <clears throat> a, another thing that I did, I don't know if this is supposed to be done or not, but when I make my Megazords, because we also have the Raptor and um, Parazord, which we'll review later, uh, they come with their own chargers, just like Gabatura did. But since these didn't, I'm going to go ahead and use Gavatura's battery. So, like I said before, about it having the slide thing where you can operate the tail without a battery or not, you can see that she fits in here. Well, she doesn't fit in here, does she? Yes, she does. She goes on this side, yeah? Yeah, she goes on this side. I thought. Alright. Oh, she goes on the tail side. That's why. All right. Well, I'm just going to do it this way. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to do it the right way. All right. So, quick change. Quick change. Quick change. Quick change. There we go. That's all I need. Um, as I was saying, when you connect her, I like to do the little lever thing and push the battery into the slot because you can. There's a, a hole in the slot that is able to fit in your battery and I know in the show it actually does that. So that's really cool to me that you can actually do that. And you know if you do that you do want to lower it because if you lower the lever that uh, actuates the battery because if you don't uh, you stand the chance of forgetting and dropping it and well that would just be sad. It looks ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's how that works. You want to go ahead and do bad things now? All right. Or is there um, more good things that you like? Well, I, I like it. I mean, it's, it's a cool toy. It's a good size. Yeah. I, um, overall, I really like it. Yeah. Um, of course, the bad things are, obviously, it's an American toy, so the paint is lacking. And but honestly, like, the... It's not as bad. I mean, it's not It's not horrible. Uh the, the back side where all the Zord Builder things are of Gabutera, uh doesn't have the silver that the front side does. Um, but other than that, the only paint that I'm really missing is on these. I wish that this was black and that these were yellow just like it is in the show. And I wish that... Oops. 
I wish that this had the red, blue, green, black, and pink on it like it does on the box and in the show. Honestly, that's the only paint-wise things that... Yeah, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's just a nice figure. Um, the only thing that I find silly, let's say, about it is when he's in... And this isn't against the toy, because it's like this in the show, too. But when he's in T-Rex mode, his neck has this thing for the arm, and you can't do anything with it. Yeah. Um... Alright, more negatives? Anything? Um, I like it. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, and there's, there's not many negatives yeah. that you can say about it because other than, like, paint, like we said, the size was report the size of the Japanese toy was reportedly too big. So this is nice and manageable and it's real easy to do. I, I like it a lot. And uh, like we said earlier, um, it comes with that like, clear battery. It's exactly like the regular one, it's just clear. Yeah, I mean, it's got the same peg system it for the, the same noises. For the morpher, so it will make the same noise. Uh, so you're not missing out on that. Um, or you're not you know gonna find anything extra on that I should yeah. say. But it does look cool. It does. So the same four pictures on the battery. The again, I, I just wish that we had Flippy. Uh, you can flip the Triceratops head like you can in the Japanese. Um, let me go ahead and take that out. Oh, another bad thing. Not bad. Just thing that I wish that we could do instead. Um, this sword that you see that the Stegosword is holding uh, actually opens up to be a shield in the show and mm -hmm. not on the toy and I wish that it could do that because that was really cool and in fact in more off, in more cases than not it is a shield in the show mm -hmm. and they use this as a sword uh, this drill I mean uh, and the the sword that the uh, Stegosword has is actually that like their, their finisher move like they're really cool thing that they can do, you know, to finish off all their villains. Um, I like, I like Zord Builder. Uh, it, you know, it leaves pegs which seem, uh, unsightly, if you will, but in order to have some cool combinations, like make a Dragon Zord with a Q-Rex arm, which you can do because of Zord Builder, you need those pegs. Overall, I think this is an awesome toy. I think his helmet is awesome. I think... I think everything is really cool. I think my favorite part about it, though, is that the T-Rex head is on his shoulder all the time. It just looks cool. Yeah. Um, that was like that in Dino Thunder, I believe, as well. That's pretty cool. In the show, there's uh, like a flame attack that he can do. And a fart attack. There's a fart attack comes out of his shoulder here. That's the butt of the Tyrannosaurus. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Alright. Uh, so that's our review of the Dino Charge American Megazord. We really like it. Let us know what you think about it. Let us know what you think about the video. Like, subscribe, check out our other videos. Uh, check out our Instagram and Facebook. Links below in the comment or the uh, description. And Sounds like a